Walk along Saltburn Seafront and you'll have passed this innocuous looking building. What people don't know is there is a mortuary built in 1881 and what I'm going to do is show you some photos of this inside here because it's relatively still intact. This place was originally one of three buildings. One was the lifeboat house and the other was the rocket brigade launching house. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that now and show you some photographs. Salborn Mortuary was built in 1881 to cope with a number of sailors who drowned and whose bodies the sea pitched up from the depths onto the beach. Before Salborn Mortuary was built, the bodies were taken to the ship in next door. Originally this is one of three buildings, the Rocket Brigade House and also the Lifeboat Building. Saltburn Mortuary was still in use into the 1970s when it was used for any case that involved sudden death and the hours were too unsociable to take the body further afield. So the idea of Saltburn Mortuary housing its dead by the beach isn't simply a concept from the distant past. Our next destination on this short video is the Apney Bridge that used to span the Valley Gardens. Where I'm stood now is the actual um, Toolkeeper's Cottage. This Toolkeeper's Cottage was used for a, um, what was known as the Apney Bridge. Now the Apney Bridge, uh, for those who don't know, was demolished in the 70s and I do have some footage of that. But... I'm going to do a little bit of a flyover with a drone to show you where it would look like uh, walking across this bridge and uh, hopefully you'll get um, a gist of what it was like. It did have a bit of a grisly past. There was reputed over 79 people who committed suicide off this bridge and one lady, who I'll put her name up on the screen now, jumped off the, this bridge and because she had a great big one of those Victorian skirts um, it ballooned out and sort of helped parachute down onto the ground. Yes she broke bones and things like that but she was the only survivor after jumping off this bridge. But three of the workmen uh, died during its construction as well. But I'm going to do a flyover now and uh, we'll, I'll give you the full history on this bridge, the Apney Bridge. And also I've got some news footage uh, from the BBC and I'll put that in too. Hope you enjoy this. This is the story of a bridge. This bridge. This is the Hapenny Bridge in Saltburn. It was built 102 years ago by local landowners to get across the valley and they made it a toll bridge. The charge was modest, even by the standards of 1869. A halfpenny for a pedestrian, a little more for a horse or a donkey. The bridge did have a problem when the halfpenny went out of use, but it staved off rising prices with far more determination than any supermarket king ever showed by making the toll one penny return. No price increase. The bridge has fought a 102-year battle against inflation, and it's been a completely victorious battle. If any chancellor had managed to hold down prices half as well for half as long, just think what the pound in your pocket would buy today. But on decimal day, the bridge meets its financial waterloo, the end of the old penny. The smallest coin available then will be the new halfpenny, and that's worth 20% more than one old penny. So at one new halfpenny return, the price of a crossing will have to go up by 
20 reluctant percent. The bridge was built by the Millsborough firm of Hopkins, Gilks and Company. The bridge's foundation stone had been laid in early September 1868 by the project engineer, Mr. Wilman. As I've said, there were three fatalities during the construction of this. So in the late summer 1869, the bridge was belatedly ready for opening. It was strong and wide enough to take horse-drawn carriages. The toll was 6D and even early motor cars, though they were banned when a newfangled internal combustion engine spooked a horse which nearly threw its rider over the parapet. In 1869, the cost of construction was only £7,000, which is about £73,000 today, but the demolition cost £50,000, which is also the equivalent of £450,000 in today's values. The Apney Bridge was demolished on December the 17th, 1974, when six pounds of gelignite was strapped to each of its seven legs and detonated at half-second intervals. So uh, just to sum up, uh, this was a small video about the mortuary and the Apney Bridge. It was known as the Apney Bridge. And behind the scenes filming a lot of this for me was my good friend, Neil Cook, who you will know from MC Urban Exploration. And now there will be a link to those channels, uh, well, that channel and your other channel in the description. But have you enjoyed filming today, Neil? Yes, a very cold uh, start this morning, uh, two degrees. Uh, little disturbance from uh, the ambience of everyone going to work because it's a uh, Sunday morning it here is. in the northeast of England. Uh, other than the seagulls paying particular attention to the drone, uh, we've had an adventurous morning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought well, I thought the drone was going to get attacked at one point. Yeah. But I do hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you again for coming along. This is bringing history back to life. Bye for now. Bye for now. Thank you.